Oh boy, y'all come on in the house. It is a Thursday night, and I don't think I've been more excited since I sat down with Ronnie Millsap or one of those really neat country artists that I've been able to be, I've been fortunate uh, to sit down and interview. But tonight are two of my friends that I go, go back many, many years. They were a huge part, like so many of you, that made Russell Corporation what it was at the time. Now that was that was then, but this is now with my friends out here, the one and only Gordon Forbes and Clarence Abernathy. Golly, this is this is really great. I, I thank y'all so much for doing this. Thank you for inviting us, Kenny. <laughs> you know when when I, uh, I I already set this up with Gordon, and I got to thinking, man, I would love for Mr. Abernathy to come out here, and I really do appreciate you because I know you've had a fall recently. And you're not kicking as high as you were. You're correct about that. How did that, how did that, how's that going? Are you sore or I know you're using a walker to get around? Well, that's been six weeks in rehab. Mm -hmm. How'd that and, go? Uh, well, they did me some good, <laughs> but I'm still trying to recover. So I'm going to walk all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's good to get out and uh, talk to friends. Oh, boy, it's just, just nothing. Know. Nothing like it. I, I was fortunate that Mr. Scott Howell hired me for whatever reason. Uh, he hired me back uh, uh, about 1977, at, which was the Knit Apparel Division at that time. And both of you guys had already been there for a while. Mr. David Anthony, who hired you at Russell? I want to go. I want to find out where did you get I started. I hired. Well, in 1938, I went to work at Russell. Wow. I was hired by Russell Thomas. Mm -hmm. Superintendent of Number Six Mill, John Russell Thomas's father. Right. And I worked out there until I went into the Navy in 1942, and spent three and a half years in the Navy. Came back. I was working in the supply room for Number Six Mill, mm -hmm. and I was hired by Lewis Askew uh, mm -hmm. to move over to the Knit Apparel Division and be in charge of the billing department. Mm -hmm. So that was a long time, 1950. So the billing department at that time was in the own division. It wasn't, it wasn't outside the division. You did your own billing. In the main office right, over by yeah. the railroad. Yeah, yeah. You did your own billing, yeah. Well, I'll be darned. I've, I've never known that. When you were in the Navy, Yeah. did you ever think about staying in for many, many years or, or make a career out of it? Or was you glad to get out? I was glad to get out. They gave me a lot of opportunities <laughs> to stay in. They even uh, trained me to be a gunner mm -hmm. on a, a Navy torpedo bunk, wow. a plane. Mm -hmm. And I was six feet four. And they'd train me in radio and train me in shooting and then sent me down to Pensacola, Florida for three months mm -hmm. and trained me to be a gunner. And when they sent me back to Norfolk, Virginia, they said, how tall are you? I said, 6'4". He said, how in the world did you get into gunnery <laughs> when a gun turret in those Navy planes will not hold anybody any taller than five Ten. Wow. <laughs> so that got you out of it? Put me in something else, yeah. Okay, okay. Wow. I, I, I didn't know you had to, I didn't know there was a height restriction. I thought they were going to say they put him on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> were you ever in the service? Yeah. What, 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 uh, I didn't, I've never known that. What were yeah, you in? I spent eight years in the uh, reserve. I was in the United States Reserve Quartermaster Group. I did not know that. I liked to kill me when I went off for basic training. Where did you go to basic training? Fort Jackson, South Carolina, where wow. everybody goes. Yeah. Did they any liked you... to kill me with that mustard gas when we went Let's through see. that gas training. 
What was the name of that base? Was it close to? Uh, uh, my memory is okay. not so hot. But this was in, it was in uh, South Carolina. Uh, we, did any of your buddies from Brown here go? Uh, yeah, from Wetumpka. You know, mm -hmm. I, I was in the Wetumpka unit. Then okay. I transferred out here to the... Uh, um, one at the airport here in Attic City. Yeah. Um, uh, gosh. Did you ever think about staying in, making a career out of it? I did, but I worked for uh, Mr. Abernathy and a fellow by the name of Forrest State. Oh, uh, wow. Forrest State didn't want me going off for two weeks every summer. He said, get out of it if you can. All right, well, let, let, me, let me back up then. Who hired you at Russell, and where'd you get started? Uh, Lewis Askew mm -hmm. and uh, Russell Turner. Russell and Turner, they yeah. put me over there to Mr. Abernathy, the first job I had. So you worked for Mr. Abernathy first? Yeah. I didn't know that. Every afternoon when they got through making the labels for the cases and so forth, mm -hmm. it was my <laughs> job to go down and line them up by warehouse, by warehouse aisle mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. What what goods were those at that time? What sweatpants, sweatshirts, sweatpants, sweatshirts, uh, union suits, uh, t-shirts, shorts. We made men's briefs and boys at that time. I didn't know, I didn't know that. So that was before Sears and making the the the, the children's. Club. Oh no, we were. We were doing, doing sleepers doing at that it? time, and he was in charge of. It. Oh, I want to tell you. The price that we got for men to briefs mm -hmm. was two dollars and eighty-seven and a half cents per dozen. <laughs> per dozen? I thought you'd say each. Folks, we got a lot more to find out. Don't go anywhere. Our featured artist tonight is a local girl that's been up in Nashville for many, many years. Diane Cheryl. We'll be right back. Free, finally forgiven. If he can make a change in me, he can make a change in you. Uh, let's talk of Valentine's because Valentine's is right around the corner. Now, Valentine's at LaCay's is, is very, uh, it's big because there's so many folks that do Valentine's differently. Like uh, some folks love to get flowers. Some folks love to get the a bear. Some folks like to get the balloon. Some folks like to get candles. Or maybe you want to do a combination of all that. Keep this in mind. LaCay's Flowers and Gifts and Dable will be open uh, on Sunday, which Valentine's falls on Sunday this year. That's LaCay's Flowers and Gifts in Dadeville, Alabama. Music Depot next to Depot Gun and Pond is the home of the unknown guitar man. But Music Depot is a true music store with a huge selection of Alvarez and Fender Acoustics and Fender Expo System for a great home entertainment sound with a price that will fit your budget. Music Depot has a repair shop to fix just about any guitar problem. If you are a music lover, you're going to love the selection you have to choose from at Music Depot on Highway 280 next to Depot Gun and Pond in Ellick City. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. The Miranda Assisted Living in Dable is in love with you. You see the Valentine tree here. Love is in the air at the Veranda Assisted Living. Now they are a fully licensed, staffed 24 hours a day, meals and snacks daily. Now assistance with bathing, dressing, medication, private baths. The Veranda is looking for you to fall in love with today. And for more information, call 256-786-0560. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. 
Marcia Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marcia Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marcia Mason at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made with the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City has so much to offer, like the brand new spirit jerseys, great assortment of picture frames, Alabama and Auburn items. You can get your game on in a heartbeat there. They also have Candleberry candles like Carolina Sugar Cane Mist, Rock Salt Ice Cream, Watermelon Rancher, new pillar candle holders. Then for the bridal registry, they have monogram crosses, framing, and trays. We also have new floral items such as stems, bouquets, and topiaries. Be sure to get your lake items, and don't forget Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City. Well, let's talk about the weather right now, because it really feels good outside. It's, it's still cool, 47 degrees. The uh, wind is not a factor right now, but it's going to be a chilly night, 35 for a low tonight. Uh, the moon has absolutely been gorgeous here lately. Now, tomorrow is going to be a little bit warmer than it was today, uh, 57 for a high, 33 for a low. Beautiful sunshine. Saturday is going to be a gorgeous day. Whatever you got planned to do Saturday, get out and do it. Sunday, last day of the month, high 65, low 52. Then we're going to start off the first day of February, about a 40% chance of rain, 69 for a high. Let me tell you what, Groundhog Day, he's going to drown. There's a good chance the Groundhog will uh, drown this uh, uh Groundhog's Day, because there's 80% chance of rain. Then it's going to cool off after that. But they got some cool, they're not cooling off uh, uh, at uh, Ellic City Marine because they are in that big time, one time, lo one, one location there, uh, Ellic City Marine on Cherokee Road here in Alexander City. Uh, 2016 Landau's are in now. Let me, uh, let me uh, also mention if you need to get your boat serviced uh, because when the weather warms up and you're ready to put it in, don't wait till later on. Get it done now at Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road. Diane Sherrill is our featured artist tonight. Diane Sherrill will be my special guest on Sunday afternoon. Uh, of course, uh, playing classic country and bluegrass between 4 and 6 on Collage Country 97.5. She's got some great stories to tell. Beautiful lady. I've never seen the picture that we just showed there, but uh, she is uh, will be 70 years old this year and absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. Of course, we'll show you some more pictures. If you're just tuning in, you say, well, who are these two fine-looking gentlemen? Uh, right here, Mr. Gordon Forbes, uh, Clarence Abernathy. We're kind of strolling down memory lane. Both of you work for Russell. Mr. Abernathy, you work for Russell for how long? 50 years. Golly. Gordon? 33. And, but but I, I know it breaks folks' hearts to see what's happened now, but I know it breaks you guys' hearts. Can I tell you, we talked about who hired us? Yeah. Uh, when I was working in Number 6 Mill in 1950, and I was hired to come over to the main office, my salary, let me say my hourly wage, <laughs> was a dollar seventeen an hour. So I went over to the main office, ready to go to work, went into the personnel department and the personnel manager says, Well I know you're making a dollar seventeen an hour. We're gonna leave you right there for a while and as you grow into the job you'll get raises mm -hmm. occasionally. So I got thinking about that. Uh, is there, is there another direction I can go? I said, well, I understand what you're saying. You, you want to find out how somebody's going to perform. 
But I said, I've been making a dollar seventeen an hour for over a year now, and if I'm coming into a new job, I kind of feel like I should be making more. There you go. He said, well, let me think about that. Too. And he gets on phone calls, just to ask you mm -hmm. to come down to the personnel office. But he had already keyed him in on what I had said. Right. So Mr. Lewis came in and says, look, Clarence, said, we don't want you to come over here into a new job. We're worried about money. We're going to start you off at $1. fifty per hour. Wow. That was a, a big increase. Well, did it make you feel good? Or, oh, it made me or feel you, so good. Were you shooting for two? <laughs> <laughs> I might have been shooting for $1.27. Yeah. <laughs> you would have taken $1.27, wouldn't you? So I took the $1.50. Wow. And so how long were you there at number six? Uh, well, I came back out of the Navy in 1943, mm -hmm. and I went to the sales office. In 1950. So, oh, it's the sales. Okay, oh, the sales office. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I called it the sales office. Then yeah. It was the main office right. over by mm -hmm. the railroad. Right. When when did Mr. Uh, Howell and when, when did things really start changing? Was it the 60s as far as the growth of, of Russell? The well, Forest State died probably in the late 50s, mm -hmm. he died suddenly. And so Scott Howell was brought in to replace him. Okay, okay. But and was at the it time, the... Scott was in charge of what we call the IBM department. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. what was, but it, it was not called Net Apparel at that time, was it? Or was it? No. Was it, it wasn't the Net Apparel division. The knit division. Or oh, knit division. Okay, okay. So Mr. Howell comes in, and so it's you, and so so are you at the sales office by this time? Oh yeah, Mr. Askew's, uh, like I say, put me with Mr. Abernathy, and they got me in the Sears department, mm -hmm. and I was doing all this stuff. All this done. Okay, well, I'm trying to. But I got married in 1961. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. And I went to work there in 1958, and so I. Was struggling, and uh, what they start you off at? A dollar a quarter an hour. Dollar a quarter. <laughs> so, so I go in to see Mr. Lewis, that same great gentleman, and I said, Mr. Askew, I said it's not true that two can live as cheap as one. <laughs> he said you may be right. He said let me check. Well. Four or five days later, he hadn't called me back in. So I went back into it. Oh, Forbes, I forgot it. <laughs> he waddled down to Mr. Latimer's office, <clears throat> came back. Well, we're going to give you 10 cents an hour a raise. Mm -hmm. yeah, boy. Uh, man, I like to had a fit. From a dollar a quarter to dollar thirty-five. <laughs> That's right. So at that time, Miss Barbara was not teaching. Yes, she was teaching. Oh, she was teaching. But they weren't paying them anything either, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, slowly but surely, Clarence got me to learn how to do some stuff. <laughs> they finally gave me a little bit more, you know. So y'all were friends before y'all became working together, become a friend, right? Y'all y'all knew each other. I first met Gordon when he went to work for us. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So that was a and his sister Pat. Mm-hmm. And I remember at Christmas time, Mr. Tom Russell would invite every employee in the main office to come down to his desk, and he would give them a check for a Christmas present. Oh, yeah. Did you ever remember doing that? I, I, I do, uh, because, you know, it was, it was always appreciated. We'd line up. We uh, didn't get a check. We got a twenty dollar bill whether we needed it or not. I, I, they gave me a fifty, Gordon. I, <laughs> they didn't like me. <laughs> now that, that's when you know. Of course, I, I came to work in seventy uh, seven. That knit a, 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 that was of course knit apparel. Oh, that vision, was a long time after uh, then. Uh, twenty plus years later, uh, and then we'd line up, you know, from <clears> the knit apparel to, to go to the main office and be Mr. Tom and probably Mr. Gwaltney yep. at that time. Wouldn't that be right? 
yeah. uh, handing out the, uh, the money. And then, of course, you know, things were, you know, growing like crazy. Working with so many uh, folks, uh, uh, we were talking about, uh, who was the Cajun guy we were talking about? Uh, Raymond, Raymond Bonifant. Bonifant. Uh, and and he, he worked at the golf course. How did yeah. he wind up in the knit apparel? Well, he got where he couldn't uh, <clears throat> complete the day at the golf course, so Scott <laughs> brought okay. him okay. and put him in a table in Bobby Jones's office. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, Bobby, when, when did who hired Bobby? And what 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 Bobby? He do? came over from number six, like uh, with Mr. Evan Anthony. Well, he was he already didn't come in when the, he uh, came, but over he, division. Mm-hmm. In the main office, there for several years. Did I they put him in IBM to start with, and then they they moved him? Or was he over in the I'm not sure. I can't remember. We like to get Bobby sometime to drive down, and spend the night. Get yeah, cause I I, I just love to hear because it, it, at that time things were growing so. I mean, you know, leaps and bounds. But, uh, when Eugene Gwaltney came into the company, it was growing at the time. But with his leadership, it went into a speedster. It, 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 it grew, it, and he was a great manager. It, it skyrocketed after that. It hey, did. folks, we've got a lot more to talk about. Don't go anywhere, because Mr. Gordon Forbes and Clarence Anthony, Abernathy and I will be right back. The God of the day, he's still God. Miss Barber's Learning Center, Papa Road here in Alexander City. Enrollment's going on right now. Six weeks to 14 years old. Let me give you this telephone number, 256-392-3300. Now, for those babies, she provides them a breakfast and a lunch and a snack. But you know what? She really provides love. And that's what you want when you got somebody taking care of your children at Miss Barber's Learning Center, Papa Road, Alex City. Southern Pipe and Supplies, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with your decisions on brand names like Delta Faucets and customized shower systems. Make sure you pick up your heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 coolers. Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dable Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235. For over 30 years, Tallapoosa Ford has been your family-owned auto dealer for hot trucks and SUVs. Now they're raising the bar even higher. The Ford F-150 has been the best-selling truck in America for the last 38 years. And the hot new 15s are hitting the scene. And Tallapoosa Ford and Ford trucks are number one for a reason. America's best truck, combined with our award-winning service department for the region's best warranty work and great maintenance and service. Hello, this is Jeff with Tallapoosa Ford. Ford trucks have led America's truck sales. Come by today and get your best deal on America's best truck. We don't want all the business. Just the opportunity to earn yours. We are steel, German engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. Find out why steel is number one in America at SteelUSA.com. Find your steel outdoor products and more at the new Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Well, uh, tomorrow's going to be a great day. Saturday's going to be another great day to do some shopping with Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. Of course, if you're looking for children's clothing, uh, they've got a rack right now with 65% off. Let me tell you something. You know, sometimes uh, 10% off so. A, a good bargain, but 65% off, yep, it's worth going in there and just checking out and see what they do have. Ladies' clothes, a uh, rack of 50% uh, off. They got a 65% rack off. Got a lot of things going on all the time, each and every day at Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. Good night.
Diane Sheriff cutting up carrying on with us tonight. My buddy's out here, Mr. Clarence Abernathy, Mr. Gordon Forbes, talking uh, talking some days gone oh, days I'll gone by. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you what I made when I went to work per hour. Twenty five cents per hour. Twenty five cents an hour. I worked two weeks and I'd get paid for eighty hours. And after they made the deductions for <laughs> Social Security, I, no, we did not have Social Security. Okay. It's the income tax. Mm -hmm. I made nineteen dollars and twenty cents. In two was weeks' for, work for for eighty for eighty hours. Eighty hours. Came yeah. a, come a long way, hadn't you? Yeah. There. So, some some really good times, though. I mean, you know, uh, I know when Mr. John Adams uh, was there. You know, uh, I'm talking about. I'm still talking about in the knit apparel division. Uh, things were rocking and rolling. I mean, you know, uh, I remember Kmart was a big uh, uh, customer. Of course, Walmart uh, comes in, uh, but it was just it was it was so many folks, and, and everybody had their job to do. And you guys were right there at the top, making sure that us little guys were doing our job. It really hit its stride in 1970. Okay, when uh, I believe it, Finest Morgan was mm -hmm. brought in. Mm -hmm. And Russell's stock took off. Right. And it split five times in ten years. And it made a lot of folks in Ellick City rich, I'll yeah. tell you mm -hmm. that. But, but, but uh, you yeah. guys, Mr. Mr. Abernathy, did you ever think you would see what has happened today? You're talking about the... The, 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 the downfall of the textile no, industry, I guess. No, I did not. <clears throat> and... Uh, I'm sure I still don't know exactly what happened that mm -hmm. I can discuss in public. But uh, in 1988, when I retired, the company was was going strong. Right. But a lot of changes took place after that. And uh, we had new management come in and that kind of thing. Headquarters were moved to Atlanta. Yeah, if you remember that. What was was all those changes? Uh, do you think Russell grew too fast too soon? Is that or didn't have the right people in the right place after it grew? My wife told me not to mention the government on the show. <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, every textile textiles what made America. Mm -hmm. And textiles made this town right here. Mm -hmm. There was Avondale, Russell, the two villages. You go down to <clears throat> West Point Stevens. Right. Um, used to be West Point Pepperell and what. It didn't just happen to Russell. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Our government sent off all the manufacturing mm -hmm. to foreign countries. And so, so. And they so can when, deny it, but that's the truth. And you so went the textile. You, you're right. No, it, this this. I, I, I'm not just saying this happened with the only town in America that textile uh, left because it, it did uh, a lot of it shut a lot of them down. We're still, I still got to say that this town's still thriving and still doing well. And, well, we got uh, yarn mills here. Uh, what's the name of that company that had a place over Rockford? Uh, mm, I know. Can't uh, Of course, can't we got uh, 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 so many of them right now. Some, some of the. Uh, uh, the folks you, you've worked with, Th throw me throw me some names out uh, over the years, because I I like to uh, I like my, my memory to be jogged. Both of you. Well, I hate to call uh, a lot of names, so I hate to miss somebody that I love. Oh, I know, I know. But um, I was very close to Forest Tate, and uh, just to ask you, mm -hmm. but I met some of the finest people in that department that I've ever known. Young ladies, uh, one of them I talked to this week, Nelda Peters. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was Dot Tinsley. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pat Thompson. Uh, right. Pat Thompson. Miss, Miss Nell Forehand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nell Forehand was my secretary. Right. For, Corrine Ogden. Corrine Ogden, the, the sergeant. She was a sergeant. <laughs> That's right. 
Of course, Raymond, Raymond Thornton was one of the Raymond guys. Thornton, that right. Carolyn Gaston, uh, you know, Ruby, Ruby Gaston. I think about the, these. Uh, Joan uh, Clark. Joan Clark, yeah. Nelda Peters. J just, just, but. Helen soft, Thompson. Helen Thompson. Oh, Miss Helen. Soft to the earth, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Looking for the area's best one-stop shop? Foshi's Watts is where to go. Foshi's Watts has non-ethanol gas for you boaters and you lawn care guys. Although cutting the grass is less fun than going to the lake. You can also get live bait and tackle, cold beverages, and they have fresh biscuits starting at 5 a.m. and the best candy prices in town. You can even fill your propane tank and get a bag of everybody's favorite pellet ice for only $1.50. Get it all at Foshi's Watts on Daveville Road in Alex City. The area's best one-stop shop. At Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga, start the new year off right in the new Nissan of your choice. If you want a great price, it has to be Sarah. Just Sarah Drive. Buy a new Sentra, $15,995. A new Ultima, $17,995. Or a new Rogue, $18,995. Plus, every new Nissan comes with Sarah Nissan's lifetime warranty. Only at Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga. Lionville Health and Rehab in Lionville, Alabama has a staff and has had a staff of caring folks for years. If it has come that time in life for that person in your family to look at the possibility of going into a health and rehab facility, you have a choice. You have a choice to choose and the fine folks at Lionville Health and Rehab would like to take this time to invite you by to meet them and them you. Caring folks that care for you and your family. You have a choice. The number to call is 256 396 2104. Hey, Dad, let's go to the Sportman Outpost. Sportsman's Outpost, your one stop destination for everything outdoors guns, archery range, ammo, processor, and taxidermist. Archery manager Randy Winslet, five time Alabama state champion, says it's attention to detail that sets us apart from our competition. We believe in coming in early and staying late. At Sportsman's Outpost, we think everyone should be able to live their dream. Sportsman's Outpost, your leader in everything outdoors. Red's Catfish Cabin in Crackford, Alabama is adding tailgate specials just for you. Hot wings, mild wings, you can buy one or 200. Get with Larry and the crew at 256-354-7705. Now they're still going to have that delicious uh, catfish that they're known for, sweet tea, which they're known for, and everything else. If you've never eaten at Red's Catfish Cabin, I want you to go today. That's in Crackford, Alabama. The Meadows Assisted Living of Alexander City is a 16-bed facility that offers three home-cooked meals daily, including snacks. Other services include local transportation to appointments and outings, assistance with personal care, and 24-hour staff availability. Rates are much lower than traditional long-term care, and rent is month-to-month. -month. The Meadows Assisted Living offers something, too, that you just can't put a price on. Peace of mind. Call today, 256-234-0800. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City has gifts for every occasion you may have coming up. Like ladies' clothes, pajamas, swimsuit bags, towels, sunglasses, koozies for monogramming, monogrammed slippers and wallets, and jewelry for every outing, swimsuit covers, and tanks by Blackbeard. When it's time to go gift shopping, think of Jackson's Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Kalijah Idol returns to the Lake Martin Event Center at the world-famous Rodeo Club beginning Friday, February 26th. This year's Idol contestants will compete for over $5,000 in cash and prizes, but you must have a golden ticket to perform. Log on to WKGA975.com for a list of golden ticket locations presented by Pepsi, Budweiser, Verizon, the world-famous Rodeo Club, and Kalijah Country 97.5. Antique Mall of Memories. You say, where in the world is that? Well, it's on Highway 280, right next to uh, Satterfield, between Satterfield and Home Depot. Uh, now, what do they carry? Well, uh, the word antique, uh, I'm trying to get away from that word because uh, Diane Forbes wants you to come in and see what, uh, what she has to offer. So many neat, neat items that 
uh, yeah, they're, they're special. I'll put it that way. You go see for yourself. And then her daughter, Jamie, is right next door uh, at Bed, Bass, and Bark On for boarding uh, and also grooming. So if you're needing to board your dog anytime soon, keep that number handy, 256-786-1374. Diane Cheryl's our featured artist. I'm seeing pictures I've never seen of Diane, uh, a lovely lady. Speaking of lovely, uh, uh, two lovely gentlemen out here, Gordon Forbes, Clarence Abernathy. Uh, we're still uh, talking about things going on at Russell. You mentioned uh, Zero Earnhardt, Henry uh, Willis, uh, Mr. Pickens. Uh, uh, Joe Pickens. Joe Pickens. Uh, Lester Smith. Uh, I, I, I know you said we will leave folks out, but just so many great people. But uh, you ought to mention Henry Willis. Mm -hmm. Henry Willis and James Earnhardt, we called him Zero. Where did that come from? Do you, do you, he, sometimes he called you on the phone and he said, Hey, Clarence, says, this is old nothing. Oh, yeah, Over here to no one mill. <laughs> and, uh, but I learned more from him in Henry Willis mm -hmm. about manufacturing, mm -hmm. which was a great help to me in doing my job because right. I, I knew how to deal with manufacturing things when you start saying, let's change a line, let's make this something else. And it was a great education to me. You, you knew what was going to happen as far as getting right. ready and when, when the product would start coming off. Yeah, there was a couple of other guys that when I came there in 1958, I I worked all around. If it was at night, Saturdays, or whenever it was, mm -hmm. and then I spent the day with Clarence and the rest of the office crew. But D. Plassey mm -hmm. was over the mm -hmm. warehouse, and, and then Poback Bailey. Oh yeah. And uh, I tell you what, all those people. I'd go over on Saturday and I'd help pull cases, and D. always told them, said, "Now get those big old." pound good cases that weighed over 100 pounds and let little boy pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They uh, trick me all the time. <laughs> but I learned a lot from but them. So many... Well, we used to take inventory. The sales department went over and took inventory, I guess, every six months. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's where Dot Tinsley met her future husband wow. so was taking inventory at oh. number one mill. Oh, I be darned. And uh, it was interesting watching that develop. Wow. And I would guess they probably married within three months after they met. That's just, just guessing. Oh, I would have been Mr. Tommy. It happened 40. They had a beautiful, uh, beautiful daughter and uh, just always thought the world of, of both of them. Suzanne. Yeah, yeah, Suzanne, yeah. I like it, it's just uh, it's just so neat to uh, to talk about because because going back to see where Russell was when you guys started to to where it it was before it all came you know crumbling crumbling down. Uh, well, I learned most of it from Clarence. He uh, he called me on Christmas morning and said, "You got your Santa Claus over with? <laughs> I need you to office. <laughs> we go to work." <laughs> But, but, you know, the, the guys that came in like me, you know, we didn't, we had not done anything as far as the work or the work ethics that you guys had created way back when. Uh, so, but, but I, I, from a personal note, I thoroughly enjoyed 
you know, working with you guys, you know, learning, you know, going through, sure. uh, you know, working in the, the, the sales. And it was, you know, for ten, ten, it was 10 great Absolutely. years. We were just talking about 30 years ago today, uh, the Challenger That's exploded. Right. Uh, we were in the new sales office at this time. I was on the phone with a, a friend of mine or, or a customer, m and distributors, Mike Nisman at the time, still a friend of mine uh, today, talking to him. That's where I was when that exploded. At that time, tell me if I'm wrong, you could still smoke in there. Is that right? In the, in the new office, or, or did that already? You could smoke mm -hmm. before they added on the, the L that we had back there that Gordon mentioned. Mm -hmm. the Mr. Sam and, Mason. Uh, I smoked a pipe sure at my that. desk. I, I had forgotten you smoked a pipe. You were a cigar. Uh, yeah, smoker. I didn't smoke them, but you know, I chewed them and light them <laughs> up once in a while. But Mr. I forgot you smoked a, a well, pipe. I quit smoking Clarence and Mr. 40 years ago, mm -hmm. or 50. I don't Mr. Joe Richardson Sr. and Sam Bradshaw, and uh, I, I know uh, you Billy know. Hardy. Mm -hmm. I, that was one of my good friends, mm -hmm. still is today. Right. Right. Uh, played a lot of golf with Mr. Billy. Yeah. Back in the good old days, uh, it, it was a long time before I got where I was brave enough to ask for a day off, but Lewis, Dr. Lewis Lambert, mm -hmm. D. Plassey, uh, Reuben Blankenship, Thurston Baker, mm -hmm. every third Tuesday they'd go to Saugahatchee and play golf. And they invited me to go, and so I got up nerve enough to ask if I could have a day off. And went with. <laughs> they tolerated me. I couldn't even spell golf. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, well, Pearson's a lot of good place. Old days. Oh, still are. They got, they got good old days at Pearson's place over in, in Dave. Of course, we're hitting right now on uh, Valentine's. I was thinking to say Thanksgiving now. Valentine's, because it's right around the corner. Now, one thing that Pearson's place has is a huge selection of uh, all size teddy bears, uh, Mama's secret cookies, uh, roses, uh, uh, cut flowers, uh, fresh flowers. So much to offer, not just for Valentine's, but year-round. That's Pearson's Place, downtown Davidville, Alabama. Floyd's Feed and Seed in downtown Dable has an inventory to choose from for the entire family. Let's see here. Boots by Georgia, Laredo, and Dan Post. Carhartt for children and adults. If it's Wrangler jeans you're looking for, Floyd's has them too. Horse Tech, Lodge Cookware, and Rocking Chairs. Other items to choose from are jewelry, purses, and overalls. Miss Faye and the crew look forward to seeing you soon. That's Floyd Feed and Seed in downtown Dable. For over 35 years, Dairy Delight Nationals been providing the area some of the best of your favorite comfort food. From the best burgers around to their famous hot dogs and chicken fingers and sandwiches, even the pickiest of eaters can find some great food at Dairy Delight. And never leave without getting one of the hand-spun milkshakes, banana spits, or soft-serve ice cream just to top it off. Visit Dairy Delight on Highway 77 North and just off the square in downtown Ashland to discover what everyone's talking about and become a customer for life. The Sure Shot, located on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is Lake Martin Sportsman's headquarters. In the market for a new rifle or shotgun? Come to the Sure Shot. Want a new bow or need to practice with the one you have? Come to the Sure Shot. Thinking about a firearm for self-defense? Come to the Sure Shot. Got a hunt planned and need some gear? Come to the Sure Shot. For all your archery, shooting, and hunting needs, let the Sure Shot be your first stop. For the best in repair and service, see the Depot Computer in Alexander City. Next door to Depot Gun and Pawn and the Music Depot. They sell service and repair desktops, laptops, tablets, and cell phones. Maybe you need parts like chargers, batteries, hard drives. 
They even offer data retrieval for disk failures and hard crashes. Great prices and great customer service. 60 day layaway, same as cash. Depot Computer, 3968 Highway 280, Alexander City. Sales, service, and repair. Arctic Air and Heat, your Mitsubishi and Ring dealer. Let me give you their telephone number because this is going to get cold. Well, it is cold. 256-794-4341. They've been keeping us warm during the winter months and cool during the summer months for many, many years. I appreciate the Kazayas, especially that Daryl Kazaya. Easy folks to deal with, and you're going to like them, especially when you're cold and you need to be warm. That's Arctic Air and Heat. If your New Year's resolution is to stop walking and start riding, then resolve yourself to run to Lake Martin Truck and Auto on Old Dadeville Road. Lake Martin Truck and Auto is the bank, and you don't need to worry about past credit, getting your tax money, or finding the ride that suits you. Because Lake Martin Truck and Auto has the lowest down payments and monthly payments in the area with the best selection. Don't let the Slick City dealer take all that tax money or hassle you with credit. Lake Martin Truck and Auto, Old Dadeville Road in Alex City. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. I'll tell you what, the rodeo club is getting all ready on County Road 34 for the Lake Martin Event Center, which will be at the Lake Martin Event Center at the rodeo club, presents the Valentine 2016, an evening of dance and romance, uh, featuring the heartthrobs live on the big stage. That's Saturday, February the 13th, uh, smoke-free table de decor, benefiting rescue uh, K-911. For more information, you can always call the Rodeo Club at 825-7503. Favorite songs, Beulah Land, uh, sung by yep. Diane Cheryl, our featured artist tonight. Clarence Abernathy, Gordon Forbes with us out here. Uh, we're going to talk about Fires Morgan. Before you do that, we're talking about dress codes because things started changing in the 80s. Of course, I always had a, a, a beard, and, and I, I knew Miss, Miss Julia didn't like a, a beard, but you grew a beard at one time. <laughs> tell, tell that story. It was the 150th anniversary, I believe. Mm -hmm. of Alexander City. Right, yeah. And I remember Ben, Russell, and I both uh, wore, had a beard about the same time, I mm -hmm. think. But getting back to Finest, uh, before Finest came on board, we didn't have anything of any substance in the way of retirement. He worked out a retirement plan and had to come to, to adopt it. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I'm living now wow. without having to worry about uh, where my next meal's coming from. Good, good for you. He put a plan in place and we paid a small amount of our salary into the retirement plan. And it was just a great idea that, that he put forward. Well, you, you deserve it. You both deserve it because, you know, like I say, like I say there's, so, there's thousands of people that made Russell what it was, tens of thousands. Oh, yeah. But you guys were right there uh, from the, for so many uh, years of watching it, watching it grow. And, you know, your, uh, your families yeah. were, you know, part of, of that whole thing, uh, too. Uh, but it's just uh, uh, so, so many stories and... and <laughs> I know you got one to, to share right now. Does, it, does, it, does anything come to mind that you can tell? No. <laughs> Ted Wilson. We can't leave Ted Wilson out because no. Ted Wilson was such a huge part of this. And I, oh. he always, I, I've always, because he tickles me. He's, uh, but he's, he was a businessman, but, you know, he ha has his funny side, too. He was he, a sight. He had a great personality, and he was a great addition to the sales department. No doubt about it. But. I found a letter that 
Mr. Ben Russell, the original Mr. Ben wrote, mm -hmm. in April 1903. Wow. That was when the company was one year old. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to read a short. Please do, yes, sir. Right. He's writing to a customer who was complaining about deliveries. Dear sirs, you have sundry letters relative to shipments on orders all come duly to hand and have my attention. While we are free to confess that we are much behind on our orders, for which have, we have good excuse, having been unavoidably cut down on our production in several ways. The main cause, sirs, for your very irregular shipments, gentlemen, is simply the fact that you did not live up to our agreement in remitting for the goods we did ship to you. First, our agreement was that you were to have all orders guaranteed by your New York bank. This you failed to do. Secondly, you were to remit within 10 days for all shipments. This you did not do. <laughs> now, how do you expect us to ship you under these conditions? If you will send prompt remittances, we will ship you more goods. We are, we think, as much entitled to have you fill your part of the bargain as you are to expect the same from us. So in the future, when your customers kick on us, call their attention to the fact that you are behind in payments for good that we have already shipped wow. you. Wow. <laughs> <Good letter. laughs> and regretting anything. Very truly yours, Benjamin Russell, president of the Russell Manufacturing Company. That is, that's, that is absolutely priceless. Thank you so much. <laughs> For sharing that. that was business. He was taking right. care of business. Yeah, he right. was. In, in a very business type manner. He was. I got that, that, that's just. The thing it. about the president of the company writing letters direct to the customers. Mm -hmm. And you know, he always had 50 of us to talk to the customers and make excuses for not delivering on time, didn't he? Oh, boy. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jesse Grogan. I don't think Mr. Jesse Grogan would have been that nice uh -uh. when he had a... <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Before we, uh, we're going to be running out of time, I have one story I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. But I want to say hello to my fantastic two girls, grandchildren that live down on Highway 22. My Lindley Marie is eight years old. Hello. And Stephanie is in the eighth grade. Wow. And uh, they both are jewels, and they uh, they love their granddad. And I just want to say hello to them. I'm so I'm so glad you did, because there's just nothing, ain't nothing like family. Y'all hang around. I believe we'll take our last break of the night. If you will, if you'll come back and join us, I sure would appreciate <coughs> it. I'm glad you, I'm glad you yeah. said. Uh, let me talk about my buddy, uh, uh, Smooth, uh, uh, Tuku, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Eddie Todd Airport Drive, downtown body shop, where the, uh, hopefully, I, I hope you never have to take a vehicle in that you've uh, been in an accident. But what I do hope will happen with your uh, Jeep or with your truck, you need accessories. See, they have a, a showroom floor set up for that right now. Just started a few months and it's really starting to grow. And these guys know how to make it happen for your truck or your Jeep. Go see them. That's Downtown Body Shop, Airport Drive.
Southern Head and Neck Surgery offers the very latest in hearing aid technology. Best Sound Technology uses directional microphones to make your hearing aid more comfortable in noisy environments. Acoustic Fingerprint Technology gets rid of feedback and that annoying whistle. And our new Open Fit models are more comfortable, less noticeable, and sound better. A three-year warranty comes standard on all hearing aids along with continued service at no charge after the warranty expires. Dr. McLeod and his staff are ready to serve you at Southern Head and Neck Surgery in Alex City. Our caring staff at Bass Funeral Home stands ready to serve you in your hardest of times. Bass Funeral Home is family owned and operated and has been for almost 30 years. Come in and speak with their compassionate staff about funeral arrangements. Every goodbye is different, so they offer a variety of pre-arrangement and cremation packages available at competitive and reasonable pricing. Bass Funeral Home also has the largest chapel in Tallapoosa County. Let us help you plan a funeral that reflects the life of your loved one. Lake Martin Garage towing, tires, and muffler. Now they also do auto repair, have new and used tires, auto lockout service, 24 hour wrecker service. Let me give you this number right now. Put it down 256 825 6139. 256 825 6139. Also, they will beat competitors' price guaranteed. Lake Martin Garage 256 825 6139. Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama is a whole lot more than what you're looking at. I love the car lot because Robert is always going to the sale and changing up his inventory. Y'all come on inside and let's go to the shop. Oh, they got a shop and they work on just about anything. Cars, trucks, vans, your cars, trucks, and vans. How about tires? You didn't even know they had tires? Yes, sir. -y. That's Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama. Oh boy, okay. Tomorrow I want y'all to make sure it's going to be a beautiful day to get out and go uh, to Carlisle in downtown Alexander City where you can have chicken salad, where you can have soup, where you can have a, a hot dog with that chili. Make sure you put some oh, chili yeah, yeah, uh, on yeah, it. Yeah, make sure you go to the uh, soda that. fountain at Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. Featured artists, make sure you tune in to Clyde's Country 97.5 Sunday afternoon and hear what's going on in her uh, life. She's got some really uh, neat things going on. Gordon Forbes, Mr. Clarence Abernathy out here. Mr. Abernathy, I believe you better be telling some uh, folks hello right now. Oh, by the way, I have a son, one of my three children, who still lives in Alexander mm -hmm. City. And if I could, I'd like to say oh, hello to John and his lovely wife Ellen mm -hmm. and of course Jean lives down in uh, Florida uh, Bill what Bill lives Bill's in Tulsa okay okay uh, but we're just glad that uh, I want you guys to do this again you were telling me uh, uh, you and Dr. Lewis Lambert went to school together finished high school finished together. high school together and y'all kind of uh, competed on uh, in the math uh, end yeah. of it who won <laughs> I think we tied <laughs> <laughs> good good answer. Good answer. Hey, make sure tomorrow night you tune in. The show has been pre-recorded for a Friday night. My buddy from the Valley, Mr. Ricky Price, is on, and he's got a lot of uh, uh, he's got a lot of great stories uh, to tell. Uh, this show right here will air, air again tomorrow at noon. If you missed tonight, remember we're streaming live now. You can go to WXC uh, TV, the uh, YouTube, uh, and, and, and do. Well, I'm not getting on how to do it. Y'all can, can figure it out. Cause if I were to try to tell you, you can, you can just really get you confused. Guys, this has been really an honor. It's been my pleasure for y'all to come out here and sit with me. We ain't through. But th this conversation, one of these days, gets you guys back out here. Ask you take care soon. of yourself, all right? Ask us before I get too old to walk. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Forbes and Clarence Abernathy out here with us tonight. Friends of mine, friends of yours, and a huge part of Russell Mills, Russell Corporation. You've heard him uh, right here. Again, uh, on Monday night, don't forget about my buddies uh, Andy Tucker and Wade Jones on Monday night. Y'all have a great night. We'll see you back out here tomorrow.